ya ile pesa ambaye unalipwa mshahara unaenda kutafuta wakili unamulipa unaenda kotini unaongana hawa ambao hawana kazi ya kulipa wakili hawana pesa ya kuongana kotini hawa watu mambo yao itakuwa wapi ndio nimesema mimi nitasimama na hawa ambao hawana pesa ya kulipana kotini ambao hawana pesa ya kutafuta mawakili i am going to be their advocate na Mungu atatusaidia mpaka hawa vijana wapate kazi tunaelewana ama hapa kwenu hawa watu wote wako na kazi wangapi wangapi hapa wako na kazi weka mkono juu ile mtu yuko na kazi yuko na mshahara yuko watu ngapi hapa watu ambao hawana kazi hapa ni nione kwa mkono sasa sasa hii dunia yote <laughs> sasa mimi nataka niwaulize ati mnataka mimi ninyamaze ati watu wachache waende kotini wapinge ile mpango tuko naye ya kusaidia at least hawa watu wapate ajira mnataka ati mimi ni ninyamaze Ah bana. Ndio mimi nimesema tafadhali kwa heshima kubwa. Na mimi sitaki kukombana na mtu. Na mimi sitaki vita na mtu. Na mimi nataka tuungane sisi wote. Lakini hatuwezi kuungana kuhujumu wa Kenya wengine. Hatuwezi kufanya pamoja kuharibu nafasi ya wa Kenya wengine. Ndio mimi nataka niwaulize viongozi wote ya kwamba tafadhali let us not use the opportunity we have the rest of us have jobs we have income we have salary we cannot use the advantage we have not because we are special the jobs we have today other Kenyans who don't have those jobs can work in the offices we work it's only that we have an opportunity they don't have but we must not use the opportunity we have to undermine the opportunity of others and that is why i want to ask all leaders let us avoid unnecessary negative competition there should be no competition between the executive the judiciary or the legislature we must work together for the benefit of millions of kenyans who pay taxes people who look up to us we must expand opportunity for them so that they have jobs in all the programs we are doing we must support farming so that we can have enough food and ensure that no kenyan sleeps hungry and we can we should work together to make sure that every kenyan have access to medical care hiyo ndio kazi yetu na ndio mimi nawauliza viongozi wale wengine wote tafadhali tuungane tushirikiane ndio hii Kenya iweze kusonga mbele Mimi najua nimesema mambo ya kilimo nimesema maneno ya maziwa tuko na program kubwa ya maziwa tumetoa pesa juzi kama serikali kusaidia KCC kununua maziwa ya wakulima ile mpango tuko naye hapa kufika mwezi wa tatu mwezi wa ine tunataka KCC iwe inalipa wakulima kwa muda hatutaki ile maziwa inangojea mpaka sijui siku gani kama itawezekana tunataka kila siku kumi na tano KCC ilipe pesa ya wakulima ndio kila mkulima awe na pesa mfukoni na tuhakikisha kwamba tunasukuma hiyo gurudumu mbele na tushirikiane tuko na mpango mkubwa tunafanya kazi nilikuwa India juzi tumepata pesa karibu bilioni 37 ambayo tutaweka katika sekta ya kilimo moja wao ikiwa ni dairy na tuhakikisha kwamba tunasukuma hiyo mambo wa kulima ambao wanafanya bidii watu wa salendo waweze kupata mapato watuzalishie chakula ili tuhakikisha kwamba tunalisha wa Kenya na tunaondoa aibu ya njaa kwa taifa letu la Kenya bile bile mimi nataka niwashukuru sana hawa magavana tumeungana na wao kwa mambo ya matibabu niliwaeleza ya kwamba tunataka kubadilisha mambo ya NHIF ili wa, watu wengi waweze kufikia bima ya afya nimepeleka 
ile mpango nililete kwenu mkapigia kura tumepeleka bunge imetengenezewa sheria saa hizi tuna harakati ya implementation ama kuitekeleza kuna wengine wanapinga hiyo pia wanasema hawataki wa Kenya wengine wapate afya na unajua ajabu ni kwamba wale wanaenda kupinga kotini yeye tayari yako na bima ya afya alafu unaenda kupinga mwananchi mwingine asipate na hiyo yako naye bima ya afya yako naye comprehensive medical care inalipwa na hawa wananchi sio ni uadui ya kupindukia jameni yani nyinyi mnalipia sisi tupate bima ya afya comprehensive alafu sisi ndio tunaenda kotini kupinga ati hii wananchi wasipate yao how fair can that be nilisema na Mungu atatujalia tutatekeleza ya kwamba wale mnalipa shilingi tano kwa mapenzi ya Mungu hii sheria tukimalizana naye imepelekwa kotini lakini tutatoa kotini kwa mapenzi ya Mungu tukitoa kotini tunapunguza wale mnalipa tano inakuja tatu na kwanza hii ya kijiji hii dispensary nini level 1 level 2 sisi hiyo ni bila kulipa hata kama una eh, bima ya afya utaenda kutibiwa na uende nyumbani na tumesema ya kwamba kila mmoja this time round kila mmoja wetu utakuwa na bima ya afya kama huna hata hiyo tatu serikali ya Kenya tutakulipia na tutaassess kama kwa kweli huna uwezo wa kulipa hiyo tatu serikali ya Kenya itakulipia this is the opportunity for every kenyan kila mkenya apate bima ya afya bima ya afya sio ati ni starehe ya watu wachache we want to make it universal so that every kenyan unaweza kwenda hospitali utibiwe na hata kama unaenda ile hospitali inataka ya kansa ama ya diabetes ama ya hypertension pia utaenda na kadi yako na hiyo card itahakikisha inalipa bili yote hautauza ngombe tena hamutauza shamba tena hatutafanya harambe tena tuweze kwenda mbele kama wa Kenya mnanielewa jameni hivyo ndivyo tutabadilisha Kenya na mimi nitasimama kidete kwa sasa eh ingeni ile mia laga jigile ngo muonyo ale jo ye otiamage Sijui kama naelewana. So tufanye kazi pamoja, tupeleke nia yetu ni kubadilisha hii Kenya. Na mimi nataka niwaambie hii Kenya kwa mapenzi ya Mungu tutaibadilisha. This Kenya is going to be different. Imechelewa kubadilika kwa sababu mtu ya kuamua hata ile maneno magumu alikosekana. Sasa mimi niko hapa nitaamua hii kila kitu nitaamua mpaka Kenya hii itabadilika sinamaana hiyo mimi sijachaguliwa kupigiwa makofi mimi nimechaguliwa kubadilisha Kenya so wale mnatafuta makofi endelee na makofi sisi ambao tunataka kubadilisha Kenya wacha tubadilishe Kenya makofi yetu itapatikana mbinguni ama itapatikana hapo mbele mkiona vile Kenya imebadilika sinamaana hiyo wakaza vije poroni so koine Bunde kwa mmoja juu kai kwa kasa na ntumwa. Eh, kwa kasa. Kama kwa kasa kwa kwenye. Sima obwa nenyu nyole jo ine kagile kokolia wala kagile kokolia wala. Moyan moyan tinda ne guru. Pigala ke jemenge no 